and welcome to this introduction to Pro MB, the multiband dynamics plugin from FabFilter. There's a place with its attractive and ergonomic interface, Pro MB provides easy and intuitive control over up to six bands of compression or expansion and frees you to think in terms of frequency bands instead of crossover points. With intelligent, program-dependent dynamics algorithms, expertly designed filters, of course, and an innovative new dynamic phase processing mode, ProMB is capable of extremely transparent results, ideal for subtle mastering treatments. Let's start with a fresh instance processing the full mix, and I'll click the graph to add a band for the high frequencies. Let's drag the range handle to set a maximum gain reduction of about 3 dB and adjust the threshold so that the high frequencies are reined in slightly, giving a rounder and more vintage sound without making the mix too dull. If I hover my mouse cursor over the crossover point, I can use my mouse wheel to adjust the filter's slope anywhere from a surgical 48 dB per octave to a gentle and transparent 6 dB slope. I'll add another band now for the low mid range and hold the ALT key so I can drag it vertically and horizontally at the same time and sweep it around like an EQ band. And I can also widen or narrow the band using the mouse wheel. This time I'm going to switch the processing mode to expand and set some gentle downwards expansion to thin out this region and reduce the congestion in the low mids without losing the punch of the snare or the roundness of the guitars in the chorus. And I'll also slide open the expert panel and limit the processing to just the mid channel without affecting the sides at all. Let's set the display range to 6 dB so we can see what's going on more easily. And set another band to cover the low frequencies. This doesn't have to be adjacent to the low mid band but I can drag the crossover points and snap them together if I want, or split them apart again with the unsnap icon above. I'm going to switch back to compress mode for the lowest band, and gently control the low bass frequencies with some downwards compression, much as I did for the high end. And I'll also grab the pan ring around the gain knob, which you'll notice actually works in mid-side mode. And I'll turn it all the way to the left to remove all stereo information from the lowest band and force it to mono. Pro MB is not only useful for full mixes, however. Here we see an instance processing the drum subgroup with two bands of punchy compression for the low frequencies and another for the high frequencies to bring out the cymbals and hi-hats. I can now use the mix knob on the bottom panel to tame my settings as if I were blending in some dry signal. Or I can even turn it up above 100% and exaggerate my settings for more extreme results. This knob can be automated, of course, so this gives me a convenient way to reduce the compression in the choruses and return to a more vintage style drum sound for those parts of the song. Notice I'm using the dynamic phase processing mode. Pro MB also provides more traditional minimum phase and linear phase mode. Minimum Phase uses analog style crossover filters to separate the bands with zero latency and provides a more or less identical frequency response. But if I switch the analyzer to show phase response, we see constant phase shifts at the crossover points. Switching to linear phase mode removes these phase shifts entirely. But instead we have an overall latency and we risk smearing transients with pre-ringing effects when using steep filter slopes at low frequency. Dynamic phase mode, on the other hand, doesn't split the audio into separate bands at all, and instead uses clever dynamic filtering to achieve the same frequency response. As a result, the phase shifts caused by the processing are much more subtle than minimum phase mode, and also vary in proportion to the processing used. Very subtle processing only results in tiny phase shifts. And with the gains all at unity, the phase response is back to linear again. So in dynamic phase mode, when Pro MB isn't doing anything, it really isn't doing anything. You can therefore use Pro MB in situations where you may have hesitated to use other multibands. 
Here's an instance processing one of the chorus guitar parts, for example, with a band of upward expansion for the low mid range. If I open the expert panel and switch the band to free, I can now tune the sidechain filters independently of the crossover point. Let's set them a bit higher where my pluck dynamics are stronger. And we're now boosting the low mids for each note to create a rounder attack. Bands can also be set to key from the external sidechain inputs. So you could use the kick drum to duck just the low sub bass of the bass guitar. Or use the vocals to duck just the upper mid range of the guitar group. And of course, Pro MB also sounds great on the vocal channel. Here I have a band for the low mids, bringing out the rich chesty frequencies. And another for the upper mid range to help keep him up front and present without getting too harsh. As usual, you can open the user manual via the help menu at the top, or enable context sensitive help hints when you hover the mouse over a control. That's all I've got time for in this video. Thanks for watching.